Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see how we can track our footages using Mocha which is readily available in After Effects. And considering 3D camera tracker, I find out this Mocha to be more precise and effective. So hope this tutorial will be useful and by the end of this tutorial, if you have learnt anything new from this, please hit on that like button, do share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado, let's begin. So here we are in After Effects now let's start this by importing our footage onto this project panel. Further right click on this project panel, import cell your footage or else you can directly drop your footage onto this project panel. Now again select your footage and drop it onto this composition icon here. Now let's check the preview of this, press 0 for RAM preview. So this is a royalty free footage which I have downloaded from pexels.com. Download link in the description if you want to use the same footage. Nice. So in order to track this footage, select this footage from timeline, go to this effects and presets panel and if you are not finding this effects and presets here, come to this window and enable effects and presets or else you can change the workspace to standard or default, you will get all these options, nice. So select the footage layer in effects and presets, look for mocha. So under Boris FX. Select this Mocha AE and drop it onto this video layer. Now click on this Mocha text here, Mocha text button. So we got a new window open to work in Mocha. So if we play this video, we can see that there is scale difference happening, rotation and also the perspective is changing in this footage. So let's get back to this starting frame. So in order to track this footage, first we need to set some tracking points like corner pins. So for that, select this create explain tool and set the corner pins here like this. So here I will be setting this corner pins here, 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 here. And here I will not be placing the corner pin straight. I will be placing it as per the perspective. Make sure to place it as per the perspective. So let me place it here and one here and another one here. So once the pins are set, mouse right click. So these pins are set on this plane. So let me enable this perspective also. Since the perspective will be changing in the footage, let me enable it. And now click on this track forward option. So once the tracking is done, we can check it out by placing this grid option. Just click on this grid and we will get a grid here. If I play this once again, you can see the grid will be in its position throughout this timeline, which indicates our tracking is good. Nice. So let me save this. So in order to export this tracking data into After Effects, we need to just save this project. So go to this file and click on this save project. Now we can close this window. Let me close this. So now expand this tracking data and being selected your video layer, click on this create track data. So since there is only one layer in this timeline, I will be selecting this layer one. See if you have got multiple layers, make sure to select the layer which you have tracked and hit OK. So if we press U on the keyboard, we can see that the tracking data is transferred to this layer in the form of keyframes. Nice. Now you can press U on the keyboard to hide out that. Okay. So now let's import logo onto this project panel. So simply select it and drop it on the project panel. Now select the logo once again, drop it onto this timeline just about our video layer. So before moving further, first we need to check the anchor points. The anchor points of this both the layers should be at the same position. So if I check the anchor point of this video layer, press A on the keyboard, you can see it is 960, 540. If I select this image layer and press A, you can see the position is at 600 by 600. So this image or logo should have the same anchor position as the layer which we have tracked or the video which we have tracked. So select this video layer, select this anchor position values, go to edit, copy them. Now come to this logo layer, select this anchor point values, go to edit and paste. 
so now it is set to this position which indicates that these both anchor points are same now select this video layer once again come to this effects control and in export options let it be set to corner pin layer export to select your logo layer so select it and apply export so here you can see now it is sticking onto its plane position so if we play this we can see that our logo will be staying in its position whether it is perspective change scale change or rotation it will not move from its position so in this way we can use this mocha to track our footages and place our logo onto this plane surfaces easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye